Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor A, Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, let me tell you something. I am excited about the presence of the Lord and, and all that he's doing, and I'm excited about this day. For truly, it is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let me tell you something. I want to invite you. I would love to extend an invitation to you to get into the presence of the Lord. I want to extend an invitation to you. Take me up on this offer. I, I, I implore you, I encourage you to get into a place of worship and just get into his presence and don't ask for anything. I just want you to adore him and to love him. You know, sitting here and just uh, preparing and, and waiting to come onto the air and uh, begin to listen to some worship music. And 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 I, I sat with the headphones on my head. I do that to, you know, to test everything before we go live. But I allowed the, the music to continue to pray, to play and and just getting into the presence of the Lord and I, I want to tell you that, let me, let me say this, that that is the place that you want to be. When you hear the words of the song, withholding nothing, that you can give your all to him and you are withholding nothing. That means I am giving you all of me. I am withholding nothing from my father, which is in heaven, so that I can be used as he will, so that I am a, a vessel unto honor, a vessel that can hold and a vessel that can give of his goodness. What an awesome, awesome day. I thank God for his presence. I thank God for each and every one of you, wherever you might have had the opportunity to tune in for the balance of life, whether it's via Amazon music podcast. Thank you for that, uh, that adding uh, the balance of life to your lineup. And I'd like to welcome that audience. Radio Line, we welcome you as well. If you're listening in from iHeartRadio, welcome. And, and Spotify and Spryker, Tumblr, from all of the avenues that you have been allowed to tune into the balance of life, welcome. And we thank you for being a part of our ministry, being a part of our family. You know, every Tuesday, which was on yesterday, is our day for partners in prayer. It is a day that we labor before the Lord on your behalf. And so if you would like to become partners in prayer with us, there is no obligation, nothing financial that you have to do. If you have some special prayer requests, if you would like to submit your ministry's name, the shepherds of the ministry, the location, your time of services, whether they are in person or virtual uh, if you have an upcoming event for your ministry, please feel free to connect with The Balance of Life, and we will use our platform to make mention of your ministry, of your upcoming events, and the location and the time of your services. Email us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again, our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Become a partner in prayer with The Balance of Life. I'll be back in a moment. And speaking of our partners in prayer, I'd like to read a scripture text from Pastor Charzetta Arline of uh, Faith Outreach, um, Faith House of God. Um, she is the former pastor of Faith House of God. And the word for today is coming from 1 Samuel 16 and 17, as well as Jeremiah 17 and 10. And the words of encouragement for us today are, no matter how we dress up our outward appearance, God still sees our hearts. So let's check our hearts. And you know what is so profound 
and I'm laughing. I get the text early in the morning and um, normally it's it's later in the day that I actually get a chance to read them. And uh, I was laying and uh, meditating and, and praying over some things and just getting into the Lord's presence this morning and uh, the scripture text what we're going to share with you today, it's a prayer. And that prayer is coming from uh, the 51st division of Psalms and the 10th verse. And it's not a a, a big prayer. It's not a, a lot of words. and uh, But it's powerful. And that's what we're going to share with you today. Uh, the scripture says, create in me a clean heart. O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And so, as I just read the scripture from Pastor Arlon this morning, and I'm I'm laughing because I I love the way the Holy Spirit will unify individuals to be on one accord. The scripture and the words of encouragement that she's sending out today says, no matter how we dress up our outward appearance, God still sees our heart. And what we're talking about today is creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit in me. And so that's our prayer today. And I encourage you to incorporate that prayer in your life. Ask the Lord, our God, our Father, which is in heaven, to create in us a clean heart. And it becomes personal. And so I wanted to spend some time in this word and where it says create in me. Create means to make anew. And then I also want to, I want to dive into some specific words. I'm looking at the word create. I'm looking at the word clean, renew, right spirit. And where do, where do we want this to take place? We want it to take place in us. Create in me. Lord, you do the creation. I can't do this on my own. I need you to create this in me. And so when I look up the word create in the Merriam-Webster dictionary, create means to bring into existence. It means to invest with a new form, office, or rank. My God. It also means to produce or bring about a course of action or behavior. Create in me. And so one of the reference scriptures, according to the definition in Merriam-Webster, It says, God created the heaven and the earth. He brought it into existence. And so this prayer says, create in me. I want you to bring this clean heart in me. I want you to bring it into existence in me, my God. I want you to bring this clean heart that I'm seeking. This is my prayer. And I want you to bring it into existence just like you brought into existence the heaven and earth. I want you to invest a new formation in me. (laughs) Oh, God. And when I begin to think about this, I begin to think about how when we ask and we pray this prayer. When we're asking God to create something new. We're asking him to tear down, to destroy the old heart and create something new after his image. I'm so excited today about the word of God. Let me tell you something. I need to slow down and kind of pace myself because I got some more words I need to go through. But think about that. We'll be back in a moment, but I want you to think about the process of creating. Creating something new, something from scratch. 
when we're talking about our spiritual lives, it coincides with John 3 and 3 that says we must be born again. I will be back in a moment. If you've just tuned in, you have tuned into The Balance of Life. I am Pastor A. I thank you so very much for joining us today. And I would like to extend an invitation for you to join us tonight for virtual Bible study with Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey, at 7 o'clock p.m. We are believing that God is going to have his way in what he allows us to teach on tonight. I am so excited. I have an expectation that he's going to release a word of teaching through the Holy Spirit. And I would love for you to be a part of what he's going to release unto his people. Join us virtually via Facebook Live. Look for the page Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. 7 o'clock p.m. Once again, it would be an honor, it would be a pleasure to have you tune in as our guest for virtual Bible study tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Check out the page via Facebook, Faith Outreach Deliverance Church, Bridgeton, New Jersey. I'm excited. I'm excited for you. I know that God has a word for his people. We'll be back in a moment. Today on The Balance of Life, we are looking at the prayer request. This is a prayer request. Over in the 51st Division of Psalms, the 10th verse. It's a prayer request. It says, create in me a clean heart, O God. And so I want to dissect this. I want to take my time with this. We have a petition before the Lord and it has nothing to do with anything materialistic. It is request unto our Father which is in heaven and we're asking him to destroy that which is old in us. We're asking him to tear down, remove, to destroy those things that are not of his image. And so we're asking him to create in me. And so it becomes personal. It doesn't say create in them. It doesn't say create in others. It's personal and it becomes a petition, oh, of faith. And I encourage you that when you ask, you shall believe that he can do what he says he can do. He is a provider. And so what we're asking him for, let me tell you something. Yes, he can do. He can provide. We're asking him to create, create something new. And we gave you the definition for the word create. Create, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary means to bring into existence. A reference scripture is Genesis 1 and 1, where it says God created the heaven and the earth. It was brought into existence. The second example of a definition says to invest with a new form, office, or rank. Creating a new position. Oh my God. Creating something new within the heart of the believer. And the next one says to produce or bring about a course of action or behavior. Create. Oh God, create. You know, uh, I, I like to use uh, the analogy of, of how uh, we do the custom Senate soaps within the shop of the bookstore, and, and I thank God for um, my very, very first assistant, uh, Jeanette. She taught us how to do this, and I thought it was so complicated. But she showed us the process of creating custom scented soaps, so I'm going to use that example. She took a base of soap, and so uh, the, the soap was in a uh, block form. Uh, it was in a solid form. My God, this is good. 
and she melted the soap down. Now, in order to create the desired scent, if it had exfoliant uh, texture and color, there were things added in. Come on, Holy Spirit, I thank you for my help coming on right now. And so, in order to create the desired texture, color, and scent, the weight of the soap, the smoothness of the soap, then we added scents in. And it was according to how strong you wanted the fragrance to be. If it was an exfoliant soap, it was according to how much you put in to add the exfoliant. And then the color, if you wanted it light, medium, or dark, or you might blend the colors to, to give it a nice swirl pattern. And then the thickness of the soap depended upon the mold and how well you blended those things together. You made it smooth and you poured it into the mold until it created something new. Well, that is what God wants to do in you and I. He wants to take what we have and he wants to make it anew. He wants to create in us a clean heart and a right spirit. When I look up the word and I thank God for technology that I could, I'm on the air and I can definitely uh, tap in and onto online and look up the meaning of these words. So clean. Let's look up the word clean and we are dissecting. I like to use that terminology. We are dissecting just this area of scripture. And let me count the words. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're we're looking at fifteen words that are so powerful. And so we want him to create in us a clean heart. And clean means free from dirt, marks, or stains, morally uncontaminated, pure, innocent. I need my heart cleaned so that it is not contrary to the things of God. I need my heart clean so that it is receptive to the things that God would tell me to do through the Holy Spirit. My heart has to be clean for my obedience to be in effect. My heart has to be clean so that I can gain an understanding that I don't have a hidden agenda. My perception has to be clear. Clarity comes when there is cleanliness. I'll say that again. Clarity comes when there is cleanliness because it's no longer my way in operation, but the ways of God. When I come back, where do we want this creation to take place? Where do we want this cleanliness to take place? But within our hearts, I will be back in a moment. Once again, we thank you for tuning in to The Balance of Life. I thank you so very much. Please feel free to visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonsministry.templesite.com. There on our website, you have the opportunity to check out our ministry schedule for radio and television ministry. Also, you will see the Facebook page for virtual Bible study tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. On our website is our Learning Lab, which is an extension of our School of Ministry and Mentoring programs, the courses that we offer, the length of time of our courses, as well as pricing. We do have some free tutorials, videos, words of encouragement, and some business tips and tools for you on our learning lab. They are free for you. 
at no cost. Also on our website is our publishing division. If you are a new or existing author and you're looking for a publisher, or maybe you are interested in self-publishing, we do offer that as well. Once again, please visit us on our website at www.angelfergusonsministries.simplesite.com. And if you would like to register, we are uh, gearing up to have open enrollment for our next session of classes. We're currently in a class for the five-fold ministry. We do have courses on the prophetic alarm, and we do offer courses in leadership in ministry, uh, business tips and tools for your businesses, tools for ministry. If you are interested in any one of these courses and you want further information, please feel free to email us at aFergusonMinistries at gmail.com and we will get you further details. Now I want to look at I want to look at the heart, the heart of man. What is the heart of man? It is where we receive. It is where uh, uh, Proverbs said um, uh, the issues of life from the heart of man. Um, we harbor things in our hearts. And if I want a clean heart, let me get back to my notes. A clean heart has to be created. It is created by the things that I allow to put in it and by the things that I, I accept. And so, giving this example, if someone sets out to hurt my feelings, if I allow it to, I begin to receive it in my heart. It might hit my mind and I might push it off and, and block it. But when I begin to receive it in my heart, that's when the heart is hurt. When we begin to meditate on things like the word of God, it is stored. So your heart is purified and clean, first of all, by the word of God. And so when we're asking and we're praying this prayer, creating me a clean heart is going to be clean by taking in the word of God. I want a clean heart. I don't want to harbor any ill will towards anybody. I don't want to harbor and live in, in any past hurts or disappointments or failures. I do not want the enemy to keep reminding me even of my failures. Listen, you are the child of the Most High God because you accepted his son as your Lord and Savior. And so you have access to this request. You have access to this prayer. Let me tell you something. Get into the presence of the Lord today. Let this be your prayer. Let this be your petition. Let your request be known unto God. Ask him, create in me a clean heart. And now I want to take a look at uh, the renewal, which is a new birth. Renew a right spirit within me. And I have something I want to say to you. Uh, we must be renewed every day. It's a daily renewal. It's not a one-time thing. I must be renewed every day. Because what my heart went through yesterday, let me tell you something, what your heart went through yesterday, it can be renewed today. What the enemy thought for evil, God, he can turn it around. Why? He said, because all things will work together for the good for them who love him to those who are called according to his purpose And so you can be renewed today. You don't have to carry around hurt and disappointment. You don't have to carry around the sabotaging spirits of the enemy that wants to keep you held down and bound, that wants to lie to you and tell you that you're not worthy 
of being transformed, that you're not worthy of your mind being renewed. You are worthy. Why? Because God wants to do it. God wants to renew your mind. He wants to renew your spirit. Renewing the spirit is removing the acts of sinful nature and replacing them with the fruit of the spirit. That's right. That's the renewal. That's where I want to be renewed at. I want to be renewed in my spirit by taking on the fruit of the spirit. And I want to give you this as a reference. For yourselves. When you're talking about the fruit of the spirit. All right. So let's give that reference to you so that you can have that in your arsenal. It is an arsenal. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds. So I want you to jot down Galatians, the fifth chapter. And begin at the 22nd verse. And there you're going to uh, take a look at the fruit of the Spirit. This is what you want renewed in you. And the Holy Spirit can release this in you as you begin to pray this prayer. I want you to begin to pray this prayer. And I want you to believe when you pray it. Now, Galatians 5.22 I want you to look at the fruit of the spirit and go through the, um, just read the whole thing. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. So what I want removed from me, if you would back up and, and stay all the way in that fifth chapter of Galatians, uh, begin at the 19th verse. I want the things, the works of the flesh, I want those things removed from me. And I want in their place the fruit of the Spirit. I pray that what we're sharing with you today is food unto your soul and a light unto your path. It's a prayer that we all can pray. By faith, you receive it. By faith, you believe it. Ask him today, say, Lord, create in me a clean heart, meaning I need to be clean. I need all that residue and filth. And I could see, you know how after a fire mm, that there was smock and, and the residue after the fire, I need all of that removed from my heart. I need the damage of the past. Oh, it taught me something. It was an experience and I can use it as a testimony, but it no longer has the effect to hold me bound, to hold me captive. It's a testimony. It is a reminder of where God has released me from, where he delivered me from. I need you to catch this in the spirit today. Let these words... Take root in your life. Pray the prayer of faith. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And so no matter what you might be going through today, know with the certainty, know with 100% assurance that if you will give yourself away, if you will give yourself to the things of God, if you will take this prayer, Psalms, the 51st division of Psalms in the 10th verse, let this become your prayer. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. He will honor that and he will do just that. We thank you today once again for tuning in to the balance of life. And if our Lord and Savior prolongs his return and he allows us to through grace and mercy, we will return 
on tomorrow at 1230. Remember, God loves you and so do we. Have a blessed day, everyone.